I'm not into, um, you know, uh, talking about this prison and everything else. I'm just into telling you all to help society out <coughs> that I think the cops know, knew who I was and we have to warn society that um, we have a corrupt bunch of cops out there that are willing to pack together and railroad a person to a high-profile crime. But why did they railroad your neighbor if they would give you a pass on the first one? Is it because of, because of, because okay. number one, one homicide is not high profile. It's one county, two. And, and then the second one was only a, a double murder, which isn't high profile enough either. The third is only triple homicide. The fourth, they had to cover up because, the, I know they found his body and everything. And you just have to read sound, sound off to find out. You just have to get sound, sound off or whatever. It's a lot, like I say, there's hundreds of areas that the cops did in corruption that you have to go one step at a time, one step at a time, get all the pieces together. It's like a, it's like a 5,000 piece puzzle that you just throw it on the table and you got to put all the pieces and put them together. Uh, the cops had, five months before my arrest, had been involved with a movie producer and that this movie producer told them that, I can't remember what she said, that if this is a male serial killer, then I'm not interested. If it's a female serial now when, wait, when this movie producer contacted the cops, there was only three murders. So that's triple homicide, remember, not serial yet. Okay, so the cops, when and she told me that the movie producer said to the cops, um, it has to be a female serial killer. It has to be a female. And it has to turn into, it has to turn into a serial case. And that if it turns into a serial, then it, and it's a female, that female has to go to death row. And that there was something else I can't remember, see? I, can't, I have to go through sound off on the notes and on the papers and everything that was said. But anyway, when she, when she told me this, that there was an anonymous movie producer in touch with the cops, well, it took four and a half years on death row to figure out the gig. She was the anonymous producer. And that contract that I signed for her that I wanted to know so bad and she get lagged with me and wouldn't get them, help me out, get them, uh, and nobody else would. I believe the cops took those contracts under the table and switched them over for themselves for the three books in the movie Overkill.